This official Lego stationery includes actual building elements. I'm gonna see if I can incorporate them into some kind of creative little build. Uh, and I've also got a special discount just for you, our viewers, right here on Beyond the Brick. Hello everyone, Boone here. Welcome back to Beyond the Brick. Santoki is the company here in the US that officially distributes these licensed Lego stationary products. I'm gonna start by opening up these items. I'll show you the cool things we can do with this stuff. And then I'll tell you how you can get 15% off from Santoki on these awesome officially licensed Lego stationary products. Let's dive in. So here we have one journal with pen. We have 12 markers. We've got one stationary set with pencils, a minifigure, a pencil sharpener. I think this is an eraser. We've got 12 gel pens. This is nine colored pencils with some toppers. And this one I'm really excited about is a two buildable rulers. And I think that these inch and centimeter markings are actually printed on Lego tiles, but we'll see if they're real Lego tiles or not. Let's dive in here. We'll start by opening the journal. I really like the design that is on the outside of this journal. You know, this is sort of a thing that you see a lot, I feel like, in Lego-related stuff these days, is, is the sketches. You know, I feel like Lego sketches, sketches of stuff related to Lego, you know, kind of reminds me, and I think this is probably what they're going for, but reminds me of the design process, the creativity. It also goes very well with this stuff because it's stationary. We've got, oh man, this is cool. This like reminds me of like a blueprint. You can put your name in here. And then on every page, we've just got a bunch of lines and we've got some bricks over here and a little assembled, this looks like a bird creature down here. Okay, this is really nice. This could be, you know, this could be your journal. This could just be, uh, you could do some writing in here. There is a band that goes around like that. And the pen, this I believe is exactly like the gel pens. Uh, we'll take off this little thing here. And uh, the pen can actually stick right here because there's a Lego plate built into the front of this journal. And we've got studs and anti-studs on this pen. So it'll actually clip onto there. That's great. Or if you had like a favorite minifigure, you could stick them on the front there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Ooh, we've got the Lego logo there and a Lego logo right in the center of the back. Great, next I'm going to open up the stationary set with pencils, the minifigure, and the eraser. I think uh, it shows some stuff here that you can do on the back. Let me just open this up, we'll dive right in. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting, these are just like they're kind of cool pencils. They don't have an eraser on the end. It's a number two pencil, uh, but I think that's why it comes with a big eraser here. And they have Lego studs all the way up and down the pencil, and they are actually spaced. Look at that, the studs printed on the pencil are actually spaced at the correct spacing for Lego studs. So you can see they did a great job here kind of planning out how this pencil was gonna be printed. That is neat. We'll open this up. We've got a pencil sharpener that opens up like this, and you can see that we've got anti-studs on the bottom. So it can actually be attached to any regular Lego piece. And it may be difficult to see in the camera here, but it actually says, let me see if I can catch it in the light. It actually has the Lego logo right there on the front of this transparent, oh, there it is. There we go. It has the Lego logo right on the front of this pencil sharpener. That's pretty cool. And then yes, we've got this. This is a big white eraser that surrounds a two by two round brick. So this could also be attached perhaps to the front of our notebook like that. 
or again, I think I'm gonna try to, when we get through these products, I'm gonna try to build like some cool little spaceship out of these things or something like that. And then we've got this, what they call a topper here, and it can be attached to the pencil like this, and it grips on there pretty tightly. And then we've got a minifigure. We can stick our minifigure on the pencil, the end of the pencil like that, or it can just be used to hold, you know, like your pencil sharpener, or, you know, again, I'll grab my Alan Grant figure here, and I could like, oh, let's say I wanna have a Jurassic Park minifigure pencil. We could do that. Okay, cool. Oh, or the eraser. This might be kind of silly, but that could go on there. This is really interesting to me. I like this. Obviously, this this piece is like officially Lego. I don't know if this piece is, but because it's licensed, I guess I'm kind of thinking like, would I use this in a build? Like, would I use this in a build and consider it pure because it's an officially licensed Lego, Lego product? I wonder if this would fit like a the arm. Check this out. This could go on the arm of an old Technic guy. Oh my gosh, how cool. He could have like some sort of, you know, thing on his arm and you could build on that. Okay, all right. I'm gonna hold off on that. I'll save that for later. Let's keep going here. Next up here, I have the 12 markers and the 12 pens. And these, we've already seen the pen, but I'll open up the markers here because one of these pens came with the notebook. We have not seen the markers yet, so I'm gonna take these out of here. And they are basically, yeah, so these are, we got two by fours here, whereas each of the pens is a one by four. And we've got studs and anti-studs, and this actually is the correct height of a Lego brick. So, you know, you could build something around this here, and of course, this is, this is just for an example, but just to show you that, you know, the geometry does all work out here. Okay. So here's the marker. We've got, these are like fine tip markers, and this is a big cap that goes over the end of the marker here. It's interesting that they're like twice as wide as they are narrow here. I'll go ahead and get a piece of paper here. I'm actually not much of a drawer here, but let's see. These actually seem like pretty high quality markers. They're very fine tips. So if you wanted to color in a lot of area, it would probably take a while. Uh, but you know, again, we can build with these. Let's see, um, I could make like a, oh, some kind of pinwheel or something. The point is this is real Lego stuff. It's not just meant to look like Lego, it actually is Lego and it functions like Lego. And let's go ahead and take a look at how the gel pens write. The cap comes off the end. We're gonna get rid of this little rubber piece that's just there for the packaging. And let's see. It's a nice feeling pen. I'd call this a high quality pen. Next up we've got the colored pencils. And uh, man, these are really nice looking colored pencils. I could use this red to shade in. Might be on the brick logo here. But the thing that I think is really cool about this pack is that it comes with two toppers and one has studs and the other has anti-studs. That means with this anti-stud version, you know, you could take your favorite pencil. Oh. It's a little bit challenging to put the, okay, it's easier to slide them in from the end. But you can take your favorite pencil and stick it onto your notebook or, you know, anywhere else you want to have this. That's cool. Okay, and the last package to open here is the buildable ruler. This is the one I've been anticipating. I really want to see what kind of pieces we get in this. Do they seem official? Do they seem... Wow, look at this. This is so interesting. So, every piece in this ruler set does appear to be official Lego elements. This is cool stuff. Look at these. These are basically four by 20 base plates. They are, they don't have anti-studs on the back. 
so they're you know they're they're more similar to base plates that you, you build on sets you know like the big uh, you know like 32 by 32 or the big 48 by 48 base plates that's very similar to what this is like they're maybe a little more flexible but check this out they actually have the Lego logo printed on the studs I, I mean this is officially licensed stuff I don't know how much more officially you get than that Let's check out the printed, this, these pieces I'm really interested in. So we've got all of these ruler elements that are printed directly on Lego tiles. You can build two rulers here. I don't know why this seems so cool to me. I guess just that like, you know, this is stuff that, this is coming across as very officially Lego. These are official Lego elements. We've got, you know, the Lego name on the studs, which, you know, is not possible if it were not someone, you know, a company working directly with Lego. We've got printed elements here that you could not get in any Lego set. Um, wow, okay. I'm gonna put together one of these rulers Start with the centimeter side. Six, 12. Oh my gosh, I just realized that you can build this as a six inch ruler or you can build it as a 12 inch ruler. So we can go up to, let's see, 12, 13, 14. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. So this is just 12. Oh my gosh, look at this. They give you both options. So you can stop at 15 centimeters or you can put both of these plates together and keep going on to I'm assuming we're gonna get up to 30 centimeters here here we go what a cool little versatile thing and they've printed right over the edges here so you got 25 is right on the seam and they've done a great job printing right up to the edge so you can see the two and the five and I will switch it around and do the inch side so we've got two three and four and then of course you know if we were only building the six inch side we would stop here but we're gonna do five six seven and then eight nine 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we've either got a, a 30 centimeter ruler or a 12 inch ruler. And then we can pop on you know, some different stuff to give our ruler a little more structural integrity. We've got a white, uh, two whites and a light gray plate here. And then we can, you know, give our, well, let's see. I think these might go on the ends. And then, hmm, I think we could probably just use all the colors. This, this is awesome. This is awesome. It's all Lego. And I just built a ruler. And I had the choice of building a 6 inch or a 12 inch, a 15 centimeter or a 30 centimeter. This is, this is, this is great okay now i'm gonna take a number of these things maybe some elements from my own collection and see if i can build some little cool thing from some of the pieces in this santoki stationary line so i'm gonna use some beyond the brick colored stuff here we've got the red marker the yellow marker the yellow gel pen and i actually had one extra yellow gel pen here in my studio i'll see if i can throw in the pencil sharpener and the eraser. I grabbed from my Lego collection a couple of white wings. We've got a couple of fins here and then some slopes. And I think I'm gonna be able to throw this together and make like a little spaceship kind of thing. Let's see, I'm going to start by putting these on either side of each wing. And then probably the red one here in the middle of the front, like this. 
and then maybe make that body a little bit thicker by throwing this down here. And we got kind of a, I don't know, maybe this is an X-Wing inspired thing, except it's not gonna be an X. So then let's see, we've got this, will be sort of the back of our cockpit or fuselage area. Hmm, let's see, oh, I could probably use those two by fours from the ruler. We'll grab the yellow and the red. Oh, you know what? And maybe just for kicks, we'll grab these white tiles off the ends. Okay, let's see. So then I'm gonna throw the yellow underneath these slopes here. And that's gonna go there, like that. And then I'll put this red here. Let's see, does this look cool up here? Yeah, I don't mind that, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's see, we can do a little bit more here. So then I'll put like a couple of wings here. A couple of fins on the back here. Let's see, and then I'm gonna put a couple of these like here, that's the way I like it. It's only holding on by one stud, but you know, that's okay. And then maybe I'll throw one in here too. And then we can cover up these studs here with these plates. Okay, so there is my quick Santoki Beyond the Brick collaboration Starfighter. <laughs> And last but not least, I turned the pencil topper into a wrist computer for this old Lego Technic figure to wear. So that is the latest in Santoki's line of officially licensed Lego stationery. If you want the 15% off, all you have to do is click on the link in the video description. That's gonna automatically apply the 15% off to any of this stuff that you add to your cart on Amazon. If you want to know more about Santoki, you can check them out at www.santoki.com. And if you want to see great Lego videos every day, please subscribe to Beyond the Brick. Until next time, thanks for watching.